Welcome back, one and all, to the seemingly eternal adventures of Grand Prince Frederick Godslayer, the Sword of Odin, the man, the myth, the legend who has lived for 62 years. Something that really isn't that impressive on the surface until you remember that the majority of our characters have died at the age of 30. This guy is going to live forever. Well, maybe he actually will because we've got the uh, brawny trait there giving him plus one health. We've got the blood of Odin we picked up yesterday, the blood of Ingvar Frey, which is close enough. Health plus one from that. We've got, of course, the hunting focus right now. Was on Theologian most of his lifetime uh, for the plus one health from that as well. He's got something else that gives it him too, right? I don't know. At this point, he's got so much stuff, it's kind of hard to keep track. What I might do is install the, j just to keep things nice and uh, clear, is throw in the health on tooltip mod. You can sit there and add it all up. Uh, and, and to be honest, it's more of an inconvenience than it than it is something that's kind of hidden intentionally. But you can get a mod that just adds it onto the tool so you can hover over that. I genuinely might add that in because I just think it'd be easier. And, you know, as a rule of thumb, all characters more or less have the same age. Uh, sorry, health, roughly. Anyway, so let's get on with it then, shall we? We have a couple of things to do today. Uh, bear in mind, we are going to just keep playing as Fred Ripper. As someone did point out in the comments yesterday, I did kind of mentally consign this guy to the grave. I assumed at the age of 62 with an infection he'd had for three years, he was done for. The guy's only gone and done it lived again. So we've joined the Hermetic Society with the goal of just writing a magnum opus ideally on Odin for a character who's now in his retirement, spends all his days hunting and, you know, writing books. And I, I might even retire him from the armies, to be honest with you. Um... You know, to write a magnum opus on Odin would, in turn, be an addition to his own magnum opus, which was creating a whole religion. So I think that's probably fairly worthwhile. What I was thinking as well, we're about to go and try and get back uh, Mjolnir too, as many people pointed out. We do have that Get Out of Jail free card that the Dungeon Master gracefully gave to us at the end of yesterday. That is essentially a free attempt on Mjolnir. Worst case scenario, we're imprisoned. We just get out for free, right? Worst case scenario, we're beheaded, but you'd have to pick that option. Uh, knowing full well that that is a risk, of course. What I was thinking is at some point, uh, the, the whole point of this series was that kind of classic CK2 run where you go from Iceland to uh, India. But of course, there were so many setbacks at the start of the campaign, so many AI characters doing all the cool shit, leaving us in the dust. Obviously, that's flipped over now where we're the cool guy, uh, <laughs> which is very debatable given that we're playing Crusader Kings 2. We've got to at some point incept the idea of heading to India into our character's head or into our dynasty. For what reason would they go over there? What reason based on everything we've achieved? Then it occurred to me and there's a very simple answer to that. Our religion, our culture has been founded of that merger of, you know, many of our ancestors have been descendants of the Chinese emperor. At that point, of course, they were Han. The culture of our realm became Ham when we accidentally educated, you know, ha had a character's wife educate their son, and we ended up playing as that son. Don't remember which character it was in hindsight. Um, but, you know, one thing sparred into another, and, and we ended up becoming Han, and then, of course, Han Ors with the, with the melting pot culture of those two occurring. Our religion, of course, being Tao as well. I, I think there's a fairly sensible reason for why we want to go to India and the kind of Indian subcontinent as a whole. And that would, of course, to be... To, to, to visit to, to visit China or to at least go and see China or be closer to that realm that our characters have kind of claimed ancestry from and, and created this merger of a religion of. It's very key to who we are right now. Why not go over there and visit? And, you know, maybe you could make an argument, Baron, right now it is the, the, the Jurchen rulers in charge of China rather than Han characters. Our ancestors have, have I think all, I think all of them being Han at this point, Maybe going back and putting our dynasty on the throne, putting a, a, a at least hand derivative culture back on the throne. I believe Jurchens were, um, in real life, what were they, like Manchu, I think they became in the end? Not entirely sure on that. I, I did Chinese history in A-level, uh, but that was <laughs> one or two years ago, or well, three or four or five or six years ago now, a uh, very long time ago, so I don't entirely remember, but something like that. Anyway, we could go and try and put our culture back on the throne, but that's for a future character. That's just an idea I wanted to fly out there, just in case anyone has any suggestions for something in the future. First thing we've got to do, of course, is something close to term, and let's get back our frigging hammer, if you don't mind there, Scully. Who do you want to take with us? Uh, who did we take with us last time? I think it was our Marshall, wasn't it? I mean, with 29 Marshall, it makes the most sense if we take our own Marshall, combine those scores. That gets us through three of the events. It's just finding the hammer that is going to be the issue. So let's do exactly that. I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, first, we've got a barony we can give away. Oh, it's the temple we built in the Isle of Man to try and build back up the religion, of course. Um, in that case, let's give that to 
So Isle of Man is du jour what right now? It's du jour Iceland. Huh. Okay, I was going to say if it's part of Ireland or Scotland, we'd give it to the Irish or the Scottish Patriarch. Both the Scottish and the Irish Patriarch already have temples. So this guy has a temple in Moray. Um, similarly, the Irish Patriarch has a temple in Ulster. Uh, what what are we going to do with this one then? We could give it to... Oh, so Yantrong doesn't have a temple. Why? I thought... What, what happened to the one we gave to Luthor? Uh, Barony, Barony Temple here. Oh, right. I see the issue. Uh, very, very confusing. Do not give him a... So the Patriarch of our realm isn't the strongest landed priest in our realm. It's just whoever's the priest on our council. Right, that's very confusing. Definitely don't land him because, of course, he's our son. Um, in that case, we'll give it to Wales. I mean, it's it's just across the... It's a, it's a hop, skip, and a jump across from Wales. Anyway, uh, can I not give it to this guy? That's a shame I can't land him. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. I guess I'll just make it as a... I don't know. I'll make a new vassal. I'll just give it to the Isle of Man. That's a little boring then. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, here you go. Baron of Peel is yours then. I can't believe we're still one over our domain size. What have we got that we shouldn't have? Fam. Uh, Husavik, Reykjavik. I mean, we've got everything. It's, I think it's just more the fact we've got a lot of cities. It's determined by your stewardship. And our stewardship is only 19. Oh, that sounds a bit silly. We've only got 19 stewardship when we are a merchant republic. But it, it is kind of relevant. We could always borrow a load of money from money lenders, then repay it back. Obviously, each time we do that, it's a 10% chance to hone our skills. Turns out we only need to do it once. <laughs> Maybe that'll allow us to... Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. I was wondering when you'd pop up. Grand Prince, God Slayer Frederick of the Land of the Rice and Snow, the Sword of Odin, has finally cemented the place of the newly formed Dao Germanic religion, with the peasantry and nobility alike bowing to this strange new religious merger. As a result, the gamble undertaken by Grand Prince Frederick, God Slayer of the Land of the Rice and Snow, the Sword of Odin, has not only earned them a tremendous amount of prestige within its own realm, but other rulers across the known world now cite them as a force for religious change. And humbled by this renown, we are getting ourselves a bloodline. Fantastic. Everyone was saying we need a Reformation blood. So I, I thought I'd throw one in there quickly. Uh, it's it's a very basic bloodline, but it adds a few mechanics that I thought were kind of relevant. So periodically attract the servitude of great theologians is okay. It's not that good. I'll be honest, it's really not that useful. Uh, however, convert counties to your cultural religion faster is pretty good. I thought given that the religion and the culture at this point are so intertwined and go hand in hand, I didn't know which one was the more sensible one to pick. So we've got both. Not that we're struggling with converting religions and counties to our culture, of course. So how much faster is that? What are we on right now? 26% chance yearly. I wonder if it will kick in at the end of the month. Well, we're just going to bear that in mind. 26%. We've arrived at Count Scully of Evro's capital. Uh, of course, we will force away inside 87% chance of success. Of course, it's... Ah, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was just about to say it's not guaranteed, but I will be very surprised if we fail it. Uh, we did, I guess, because they know our face, or our lack of face, I suppose, at this stage. Beg for forgiveness. Fight our way out. Worst case scenario, we're imprisoned. Ah, but you fool. You've activated my trap card. Get out of jail free. How do we do that? Ah, uh, use get out, get out jail free card. There you go. Use the get out jail free card given to you by the Dungeon Master to guarantee your freedom. There's a single use item will be consumed. You need to put some localization on that, don't we? Uh, Grand Prince Frederick Godslayer is released in prison. Ha <laughs> ha! Joke's on you, loser. We're out. Well, that's very frustrating. Could have been worse. It could have been. Uh, we could have we could have died, which is a fair point, I think. Let's go back hunting again. I think that's a, I think that's a good thing for him to do in his retirement. Really doesn't do much for us. Are we even allowed to go hunting? Is that like an option to go hunting? Apparently not. I guess I'll have to add that decision to this religion then, huh? I wonder why. No idea. I thought everybody could go hunting, but I guess not, huh? Okay, well, fair enough. We'll always sort that out at some point. Let's go ahead and repay all these loans that I took out specifically so our guy could learn a bit more about money... Uh, money, money, and accounting, and that type of thing. Turned out he just didn't need it. He doesn't need my help. Let's be reasonable here. Uh, huge investment. No, you know what? I'm not going to bother because I think we can probably. I, I mean, I imagine there's probably not much in the capital to upgrade. There is literally nothing. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, again, stuff that won't activate. Yeah, there is nothing to upgrade. We might as well go for the city of wonders then, huh? So how are we looking on that one? We are building the magnificent garden. Is that being upgraded? We need. 11,000 gold. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, okay, we'll worry about that in a minute then. Uh, we can upgrade our, our our library, which I think is a good idea. 
Uh, you know, before we upgraded the library, what have we got? Economy? Did I build a tower? No, I wouldn't have built a tower. That seems so boring. How strange. Uh, economy, culture, and a scribe room. Let's build a military technology spread rate. A natural sciences collection. There you go. Seems like a pretty good use of the money. And then we'll upgrade it. Sure, why not? Why have you built a tower? Can you remove... I wouldn't have done that. No way. That's so shit. Maybe it just builds automatically at a certain level. Hmm. Very bizarre. I mean, if, if someone remembers me doing it, I guess I've done it, but I sure as hell don't. Weird. All right. Well, we're going to have to turn up and burn it down the old-fashioned way then. Now, also worth mentioning, what did someone say to do? That was it. There's another target for raiding, which is nothing to do with the campaign. It's a personal goal of my own, and we've had it going for a while. I've brought it up many times here. Uh, how about Gary? You guys know Gary Prime? Oh, my friend Goodmunder has sent me a small puppy. Hello, we gain a hunting dog given diplomacy plus one in health. What do we want to name it? Faithful, Hunter, or Tricky? We have to name it Faithful. Come on. The guy with 6,700 piety would, of course, name a dog Faithful. What choice do we have there? Oh, my leech, after being convinced by the patriarch from another country, I've decided to convert to the Dow Germanic faith. Oh, wow. What the fuck border is that? Tribal? That doesn't look like a tribal... Oh, my God, he's a tribal baron. Whoa, I didn't think I've ever seen that portrait border before. That's so weird. That's kind of freaking me out. It's because it's a tribal baron under this guy. That's so strange. Whoa. Things I, things I don't think I've ever seen before in CK2. That's a small list. I mean, I've probably seen it. I probably just didn't think twice about it at the time. Yep, no hammer again, unfortunately. There is, of course, Gary Prime. And now, I'm not sure we can get there. There, of course, isn't a um, canal that's here. Oh, my God. What is it called? <laughs> the Panama Canal, except in Egypt. What the hell is it called? I said it earlier in the series, but now I can't remember the name of the friggin' thing. That'll come back to me. Um, yeah, so there isn't there isn't a, a canal here yet, because it hasn't been built yet. Uh, and Gary is kind of hanging around somewhere in Egypt last time I checked. He might have moved. You never know. Who's caught us in? This guy's caught. See, we can't get that. We could land in the Nile Delta, walk down there, burn it down, and see if we can kidnap a dragon. We know about Gary Prime. Our dynasty has heard the legends of, of Gary Prime, of course. That's not Venice. I've got to tell you right now, that's not Venice at all. <laughs> they seem to have taken Crete. Whoa. Okay, fair enough. Um, I have encountered Adept Barth Barthelemy many times while carrying out my duties for the Hermetic Society. Is this friendship, or is it more? I mean, the guy's a master seducer, and he's lustful. Our guy... Oh, is he into him, though? Uh, 43 opinion of Frederick. A master seducer and lustful. How can we not? We realized we had a crush on him all along. Of course we did. For a moment, the world stood still. I could not breathe. Then the most radiant heartwarming smile spread across his face. I thought you would never ask, Frederick. Oh, my learned seducer. <laughs> we just seduced by a very big, big-brained man in the Hermetic Society. Who's he at war with? The Filker? Why is that the Filker symbol? They're Aztec now? What the hell's going on? I think a mod must have updated because something's, something's gone very bizarre. Oh, yeah, we'll take our marshal back. Thank you for asking. Yeah, something's gone very bizarre. I noticed that when I was doing some testing of the bloodline. Very strange. Ah, there you go. So we've written our theorem paper for the Hermetic Society, and they're deciding whether or not they want to add it to the library. This guy's on board. Absolutely you are. This guy's on board as well, of course. Naturally. Thank you. Uh, we lack a proper office for alchemy. We'll get right on it. Thank you. She has agreed. Everybody agreed. Of course they would. We've got such a big brain. We've got such a gigantic brain. My god, the font being that large on the map is is actually kind of horrifying, isn't it? Like, it, it feels like it's a bug or something, but no, it is just... <laughs> it's just obscene. My god, it makes everything else look kind of pathetic. To zoom in and be able to see the names on the... We can't see both. We can't see the name of the barony and the empire. They're in simultaneously because it's at different camera levels. I think I've ever seen that before either. Very weird. What a strange campaign. Of course, we're not leading the troops anymore, are we? We've, we've retired. We're writing about Odin and boring things like that. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh. While digging the ground during the building of Nanny's Sun Palace, the workers came across some sort of door that seems to be a closed chamber. Spend some time in gold to investigate. Maybe there are some old valuables inside. It's probably an ancient tomb explored with caution. This option is available because you either have a high learning or the traits erudite or architect. Ignoring continuing the work. I don't want to be bothered to give us such petty details. No. Explore with caution. 
we know that it is an ancient tomb. Perhaps some, and, and bear in mind, the only people who were in Iceland before us were uh, Irish priests. Maybe it's some old Irish tomb. Okay, explore with caution. Oh, after digging, a big stone appeared, blocking an entrance. When the workers removed the stone, old tomb was discovered. A small quality of silver and gold objects in it. It'll be all mine. Getting 100 gold and greedy. Or, let's all give the workers a share of the gold. I mean, he isn't a greedy guy. Patient, diligent. And you know what? Our religion? I think we'll want a bit of humility going on for it. I mean, that's more pious too, right? Oh, it actually doesn't affect our piety at all. However, plus three diplomacy? I like that. Church opinion? That's Christian church opinion. Or is it the Christian church opinion? Maybe it would just say Christian opinion. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you know what? I'm going to gonna give it to the workers. We didn't get the tray anyway. Ah, oh, there you go. Your dog is growing quickly and it's no longer a puppy. He runs fast as a keen nose. Your dog, handle your dog handlers praise his good character. Good dog. That's quite nice. A son. Born to the hunchback of Dong Eastland. And there you go. Our paper has been indoors for a good one. Up to 36 learning. Wow. This guy should have been in Hermetic Society from the start, shouldn't he? Renowned physician. Follower of the Chan School of Philosophy. Of course, trained in, uh, in the university in China. Whoa. Although the great commercial of Aurora was a success, my work to help him uh, to turn him into a proper Dow Dramatic Commerce is not done yet. We lose 100 gold, but we're going through game 300 piety. You know what? Fine. We can spare the gold, I suppose. Unless we want to aim for the City of Wonders. Your general software was much appreciated. You can restore... I don't think it will be. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy. Because Baron went to visit his ram last episode, and we were treated like, a, like just some random dick. I'm not very happy about that. Right, so we've got to build an, an, an office for alchemy. Right. Uh, found the academy. I would love to do that. We can do that quite. Construct laboratory. There we are. Let's do it. A truly useful laboratory can take both time and money to assemble. Without an office dedicated to alchemy, I doubt I'll ever be able to unveil the deeper secrets of the world. For science. Science and religion being more or less the same thing. In CK2 terms, that is, of course. The priests were the learned people. They were the ones who actually had the education, the books, the printing knowledge, etc., etc. Honored Grand Prince. Thank you for reminding me of my duties. You're welcome, my friend. So let's see. Maybe we can only uncover the secrets of Odin if we, you know, actually have a lab to do it. And so, secrets of the great importance of my experiments. We'll try and aim for the best outcome possible here. We've done it before. I won't explain it a second time. Uh, but we will build... Uh, an efficient, the most efficient lab possible. We're in Iceland. The chance of people stealing our secrets based on, you know, like, we do have to worry about some, let's go diplomatic range. We are pretty much isolated where we are, you know, so uh, we don't have to worry about it so much. Otherwise, you know, if you're in the Byzantine Empire, people will very legitimately come and steal your stuff. Are they not marked as raiders? Oh, they are. Uh, I will aim it higher than any of those who come before me. Now, when we did this last time with the Hermetic Society, our character built a... The second best lab possible. To get the best lab possible, we have to have an ingredient that can rot. And I hate to say it. I don't think we have anything, do we? Um. No. Right. That's that's poor timing on my... Oh! If we, we can do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gun, you're my apprentice. Then we go out and we look for ingredients. We get the herbs in the hills. And then, of course, we will aim for higher than any of those before me. And let's hope that we find the herbs before we build the lab. Ah, nice. There you go. I can mine knowledge will be useful and I didn't find the plants. Have we found Gary? Come on. Uh, only the best will be good enough, of course. No, nothing. No Gary either. It was worth a shot, though. What is it called? The, the, the canal. I mean, that boat got stuck in it recently. What the hell is it called? I'm losing my mind. Uh, my librarian shall not rest until we have such a collection. You guys should dig up. Dig a big hole here, just saying. Oh, we inherited something from someone. Yushi the milk drinker. What, what did you have? Oh, right. We got a castle back here. You know what? That's fine. I can give that out to someone. Who, why did I give it to him? Was there a reason for that? Was he like a, a relative or something like that? Can you not see the title history of that particular one? I'm not sure we can, can we? Um, no, unfortunately not. Ooh. Soldier boy, tell him. Did we give that to? I have a feeling it was someone like married to one of our daughters, huh? Hmm. We'll give it to Dan the Clueless. We'll give it to Dan the Clueless. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Uh, you can have that. Boom. We can't hold it anyway, of course. Wherever, our, wherever our our title limit at this point. Let's bring the boats back. Shit. Oh, well, we've tried. Should we hit the Pope on the way back just for a laugh? <laughs> Why not? We we could pop into the Byzantine Empire to see if, see what they've got. 
And look, if we can bring back uh, all these boats full of gold, that's like a third of the way back to our City of Wonders. Sure. Import the tools. Four herbal ingredients. Very nice. More ingredients. We've got more chance we've got them rotting with the event, so we could still get it. Fingers crossed. It'll be any time now. Maybe the next event that pops up, for example. God, it's so rare, though. It's such a rare outcome. We did not get it, unfortunately. Uh, we got a state-of-the-art laboratory, which I think is the second best, if I recall correctly. That might still be the best one. I really don't remember. It's been a long time. Holy shit, Constantinople didn't recover what we burned down half of it. Well, on just under half of it, of course. Three of their holdings, they still haven't rebuilt them. Wow. Did they rebuild the walls? What did we burn down again? Like, they... Some sort of, uh, like, like, saints something something. Uh, Church of the Holy Apostles. That was it. They still haven't rebuilt it. <laughs> Ah, my bad. <laughs> you know how it goes. Sometimes these things just happen. Oh, I slipped and burned down the entire Church of the Holy Apostles. My bad. I, that guy's face popping up and it leading with has lost an artifact. Almost gave me a... Almost gave me a heart attack there. We've stolen a man's head. That's not really going to pay for the City of Wonders, is it? To be honest. Oh, Galata. 500 gold in a single swing. My God. Constantinople, the city of... Thank you. And then finally, done. Okay, there you go. Well, I guess we could head to the Pope next. What about Venice? Oh my god, Venice is still suffering the effects of depopulation. Obviously, there was a... Um, oh, they're building an amphitheater. That's kind of cool. There was, of course, the plague in Italy not too long ago. I think it's all completely... It's all completely tidied up at this point, but Venice being such a prosperous and kind of well-traveled area was definitely hit quite hard by that. Venice, though, given that they've got six holding slots, they're probably one of the only places in the world now. What about, like, Alexandria? Uh, oh, sorry, Tunisia. You knew what I meant. Uh, Tunisia is only five holdings. Alexandria is six. Okay, so Alexandria and Venice? What about Jerusalem? Not that we can, of course, raid in Jerusalem. Yeah, okay. They might be the only places in the world that have that, have that many... I, I think there's someone in Spain as well that have that many holdings these days. Good lord. Um, proposes to compose your family chronicles. What would we go for? Patient, diligent. I, I do feel like our guy would lean more on the side of, of humility. Particularly given that's now an aspect of our religion, right? So I think we'll aim for that. Not that we're going to let the religion dictate all of our characters' lives. But this guy, given that he invented the friggin' thing, I think that's worthwhile. Sorry, did I finish talking about the bloodline? Ah, oh, probably. There it is anyway. His name is actually so long it's cut off on the title there. Frederick the Sword of Odin, you know, it does take up a lot of room. It must be a nightmare to fill out online forms. Please enter less than 14 characters. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, you know what? The Pope's got a lot of money. The Pope obviously didn't get hit by a plague. It's very, uh, very suspicious, isn't it? Oh, you know what? We're not sitting there burning that whole thing down. What we'll do then? Uh, sure. I mean, we're getting a lot of, we're getting a lot of, uh, good piety out of this. Let's drop the gold back. Let's raise all the ships. Let's send them back to the Isle of Man. The old classic. Oops. Well, I'm a fool. Uh, let's send them all to the Isle of Man, like I was saying. Let's send as many ships as possible to... to to just raiding. And let's see if we can set up another City of Wonders. Why not? It's not our guy doing it, you know? These are just his armies operating on his behalf. He's writing novels and building laboratories and all that crap. Did the Ancestral Worship look well last time? Oh, it seems to think it's working, but it doesn't actually... Didn't actually pop up. Pretty weird. No, it doesn't matter too much, does it? Okay, how many boats have we got now in total, actually? Like 600. Or oh, 700. The fuck? <laughs> so we could take almost like... 7,000 gold per raid, assuming there's enough gold out there for us to grab. What is that going to cost us in upkeep, though? We can afford it. We can absolutely afford it. My god. Um, where did those boats go to? Hello? Oh, I sent those guys all the way back to Riceland. My bad. Come down here. Right, is that all of our ships? We could always drop them and re-raise them, but I think that's everybody anyway. Uh, yeah, that's all of our boats. This is gonna be big. If we can start the next level of City Wonders, that would be fantastic. Hello? The kidnappers overpowered me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag in my mouth. Oh, luckily they did not get far away from me. High Chief Zilly Smith and the guards managed to free them and capture me. No, all the way around. Free them and free me and capture them. Make sure they're severely punished. Wow, someone tried to kidnap us. Was that like actually an attempt to kidnap us though? Or is that just like an event? Well, that's concerning. Uh, Spymaster, 
We haven't made a lot of enemies, of course. The entire Christian realm. There's probably some secret Christian plots going on. The Irish, the Scottish, the Welsh. Probably not so happy about this. What is essentially just massive cultural displacement going on in their realms right now. We've made a lot of enemies. Do we have a better spy master? No. He likes us, so I trust him. He's quick as well. He's just not the best spy master I've ever seen, you know. Okay, we'll trust him. We'll trust him. Hello. My friend, we have a common nemesis. You know of whom I speak. It's Neophyte Eustianios. I don't think that's how that's pronounced at all. Uh, yeah, of course. I hate this guy. Who's this guy? I don't even know who you are. What are we doing with him? We're going to invite him to stargazing. <laughs> oh, we're just, it's just a lab infiltration. We don't have to worry about doing anything there. Uh, Xiao Ming has converted to the Dao Germanic faith. How are we doing with converting the holy sides too, by the way? Because that was kind of a big goal we were working on in the background here. So Baron Dagger Peel is all set up. Finnmark isn't even ours. Finnmark? That's not right. It's supposed to be... supposed to be here. Nordland. Did I accidentally set the wrong holy site up? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's supposed to be here. It's in the Dutch of Finnmark. There's a little bit of confusion. Okay, there's a little bit of confusion going on on my side of things. We'll sort that out. Um... So she is and still likes a temple holding. I guess we focus on that with the crown focus. And hopes we get a prosperity event. If we could build a holding slot, build a whole new temple, that'd be fantastic. Now, is this the biggest retinue we can get? Because we're going to go for the City of Wonders. Oh, my God. It, we're actually way above our retinue size. That's probably where this guy has a lower marshal. And we've obviously given a lot of shit out now. We've got obviously kingdoms everywhere and that type of thing. Right. Well, let's just go and raid along the kind of Italian coastline. See what we can grab from there. So we found his laboratory. Gun tells me as we enter the village. While old Eust Eustinianos has no talent for keeping secrets, he does know how to hire proper guards. I have a way with people in a heavy purse. I prepared a potion of dreamless sleep for this eventuality. Dreamless sleep? What does that mean? Like that, like, a, like a deep sleep. Like No, because that's when he... I don't understand the point of that. Surely you want the deepest sleep possible. I'm not sure. We're going to rank up, though, while this event goes on. Because I think if we fail, we can lose, like, 500 esoteric knowledge. And that will put us below the threshold. So, um, yeah, fuck it. Dreamless sleep. There you go. What was that consist of? Hibiscus and lemongrass. You made them a nice tea, basically. Okay. By some miracle, he enters a little vial of potion in the jug before it's brought to the guards. Within a quarter of an hour, they're snoring softly. What was hibiscus and lemon? <laughs> God damn, I need to get that recipe. You focus on destruction, I'll search for items of value, or let me take care of sabotage. Got anything useful you come across. Um, effective but risky. Let's go for the most effective thing possible. Destroy. Destroy. And we have advanced to the Hermes Society, thank God. Uh, we did actually succeed. We found 10 gold. Brilliant. And the holy war that the Filka launched against uh, the Emperor, Emperor Diego of Francia. A Basque Francia is kind of cool. Uh, failed. Because she's an idiot. You and what army? In the literal sense, she hasn't got an army. She's also completely batshit crazy, unworthy, and probably going to die soon anyway, tragically for her. Oh, I follow the trail of overturned chests and broken bars until I find a nearby gun. I gesture for him to come with me. It's time to go. He stuffs his pockets with a few nearby tools before running after me. So what is my share of the spoils? Hey, we, we actually got like, the most successful outcome there. That's not bad. All right, then. Well, how are we looking for gold around here? You guys are fucking loaded, eh? I'll start with this South Spanish coast and work our way up then. Fantastic. We've got a lot of boats to fill. We've got a very, very hungry arm in here. Very big city to build. What was that? Oh, 64 gold's not very much. 91? Ooh, okay. This could take a little while. We're never going to translate any books. You know what I'll do to speed things up as much as possible here? I don't even want to know if I want to siege. You know what? You can show it in the high priority tab. That's as much as the shit as I give these days. There you go. We are. We're speed running it now. You will never stop this. You come up against the armies of Frederick. How dare you? Oh, no. I never never trust a man with that name. Deeson, Deeson. Thank you, my friend. Join me in prison. What the fuck are we going to do with all these prisoners? I feel like we need, like, a... There needs to be some sort of alternate thing you can do with prisoners, right? The building's Goodmunster was looking at reinforcing should be torn down and replaced with study houses and watchtowers, but Goodmunster was insisting that something could be done about them. Materials could be used to erect better buildings. We can recycle. Nothing can be done. Tear them down before they fall apart, or the cost of rebuilding will be great, and I want a share of that. Uh, no, I'll just help you with the buildings. I'm not going to embezzle from our own people. Everything we've done has been for our people, right? Seems a bit weird that we seem to be like, yeah, peasant houses, not up to building code. Fantastic. We'll just let our armies reinforce a little bit here, I think, as we swing around the corner. How are we looking? 
Only 2,000 gold. Absolutely pathetic. What would Yuning say if he was here? He wouldn't be saying much. He'd be too busy leaving a trail of bodies. <laughs> Classic Yuning. You know what he's like. We've destroyed someone's horse armor. I'll teach you, Todd Howard, you big bitch. Now, Dave, this poor man's been ripped off as well. Unbelievable. Uh, let's head back. Oh, shit. Well, my bad. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Sorry, you can build another one. With all that money you don't have anymore. That's fine. Tech points. Hey, sorry. Should, should stop getting so single focus here. Let's finish burning this one down, then we'll take a look. Oops, that's another thing burnt down. Well, never mind. I should be a bloodline for burning down, like, just a shitload of stuff like that. Uh, sure. Keep following this idiot money over and over and over. And for what? So that he can treat us like a dick when we actually go and visit. Unbelievable. What can we do? We can call a Chinese tutor to court for diplomacy. Join me. But you can click it again before it subtracts the currency. Poorly coded decision. Zero out of ten. You failed my class. Where's our troops? I have failed warfare. <laughs> We've even left the troops behind. Shit. <laughs> right. Battles, same story. We're just going to throw them in here. And then we'll we'll put it back to the way it is popping up when we, you know, start going to proper war again. Hello. My brother in the Hermetic Order. Armory has stepped forth with an idea of a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. Oh, one of those classic Friday night rituals. Okay, I have some interesting flasks to Canada. What is like Jasmine. <laughs> Yarrow. Okay, Yarrow and... Wormwood. This is a little bit more impressive, I suppose. Yeah, all right. Well, here we go. Uh, this guy's also found possible locations of lost Hermetic Risings. Now, bear in mind, whatever character we were in the Hermetic Society with before, was it Yu Ning? Because I think that's how that's what drove him insane, right? I don't remember. Uh, we've already got the best outcome from this event, the Emerald Tablet. It was Yu Ning. Yeah, I thought so. Um, so, really, we could go for the safer options, but we might as well take the gamble. The, the real downside is the cost. And we are now summoning a divine. The time for the ritual has come and your order is congregating in a spacious room. Symbols scatter at the floor as you chant in hymns. Initiate armor is provided you with all... I know that's not how you pronounce that. <laughs> provided you with all the new special type of incense that he claims is necessary to make the eventual connection with the divine being. It's... It's drugs. They're all about to lose their mind. Before long, it's permeated the air and as you inhale more and more of it, hearing the drone of your fellow chants, you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend. Until it seems to connect with something else. It's our lover from the Hermetic Society, Barthelemy. No, it's not, actually. It's our divine being, apparently. You've succeeded. You struggled to control your emotions and to coalesce all your thoughts into one burning question that you posed to this being. To ask about the operation of the sun, the stars, the gods, and the secrets hidden throughout the world, all of these correlates were stat. I don't remember which one in which order. That's intrigue. That one's stewardship. That one's something. That was something else. Let's go for the gods. Of course, have a go and ask about the gods. Uh, no, there's no other option there. Hello. Oh, that's good. Tofu's converted to something, something. Fantastic. Learning plus one. Well, thank you. That's <laughs> kind of helpful. It's a 40 learning, though. My God. This man's brain is so large. I'm surprised he's able to sit up straight. He's like a weeble. I mean, weebles, I know, are famously famous for sitting up straight. But, you know, I just imagine he wobbles around quite a bit because of the massive weight of his giant brain. His neck is so ripped. It's all that training. That's, that's what the brawny trait was for him, you know. Uh, Wolfgang, we could be friends. You think you'd be friends with a possessed heretic of French? Changes nothing. Uh, Nanny Slum prospers. That's not really the one we were after, but why not? Fair enough. How are we doing with gold? Are we almost done? Fucking hell, we picked up like 5,000 gold in two seconds flat. That's so good. Wow. Man, writing is so overpowered in this game, isn't it? I didn't remember how it works in CK3. I need to play CK3 again. I'll play it at some point. I do plan on doing it on the main channel. Uh, there you go. Nice work. We've got our hieroglyphs. Do plan on doing it on the main channel again when uh, Royal Court drops. I cannot. Uh, I am under NDA, so I can't discuss Royal Court or uh, anything about that until it drops, basically. So that's why I've kept my mouth firmly shut on that, despite the fact we have been playing CK2 all these many months. But that's out, what, like two days now? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been sent a key, so I guess I've got to fucking pay for it. You know, unbelievable. Um, imagine that, having to pay for DLC. <laughs> for a game I don't ever play. How dare they? How are we looking? 6,200. Okay. This is great. It will be... No. Yuan Chong. No! 
The backup son is dead. What the fuck do we do now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Revoke his title? Oh, my God. A dynasty in turmoil. One son is a priest. The other is dead. And the other sons are daughters. Which isn't strictly their fault, I suppose. Our... Who, who are our viable heirs at this point? Oh, God. You can't... They can't be our heir. I'm sorry. As much as I'd like to name her our heir, that can't happen. Can it happen? Apparently it can happen. Shouldn't be allowed to happen. Fat Arm. Fat Arm is the only one who can... No. We have to revoke his title. We have to revoke his title. Or we upgrade him to a duke. He's only a baron right now. We would have to revoke this guy's title. Actually, we'd have to retract North Connacht from this guy. Revoke his title. Grant it to him. In the hopes that... Although, how does it work? Will that take precedent? Or will he just become a priest count who will own both of those? If he becomes a republic, then he becomes valid for succession again. Then we could just give him the duchy title. Shit. A nightmare. This is a nightmare scenario. We will now play as Fat Arm the Young, a 60-year-old man. Once his son is dead, his other son is imprisoned. Maybe if we could get this guy out of prison. Asbjorn, my nephew. He's quick. He has Damascus Steel. He's just. He's got 19 stewardship. You know, we could do a lot worse. Let me ransom him. I'm going to mark him a special interest. The quest for the God Slayer. Unbelievable. I got so distracted with... Gold and gods and riches and wealth and power and religious unity, cultural conversion. Thousands of gold, like a staggering amount of gold. And knowledge of the gods. My knowledge of our dynasty has fallen apart. I failed. Wow. This is, this is interesting. An interesting twist to things. That sucks. I kind of wish we were alerted about that or something, you know. By the way, your only son and heir has cancer. That would have been a nice pop-up to get. We do have a... Uh, we have a court physician. I don't know why I didn't prop up and say treat my son, you fanny. Oh, God. Well, well, well. <laughs> See you all tomorrow.